Hello friends in this Code Igniter video series we are going to discuss how to update my SQL table data in Code Igniter framework. In previous video we have discussed how to delete my SQL data in Code Igniter framework. In this video we will add one more table column in main view.php page for update data. In that link we will store user id when we have click on that link then that user data will be appear under HTML form and after we can edit user data and submit form then after we can update my SQL table data and code igniter framework. This is my testing database and in which we one user table in which we have three column like id. First name and last name, we will update this table data by using Code Igniter framework. We have already made database connection into this Code Igniter application. We have made database connection by going to config folder and in that folder we have open database.php page make field required information like host name, username, password and database. From this page we can make database connection. Now we have go to view folders main view.php page and on this page first we have add one table heading column with text like update. After this we want to make dynamic update link, so for this we have go to for each loop and and we have add one table data tag and between this tag we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to open and close php tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with base url function. Then after we have write main controller with update data controller function slash open and close php tag and between this tag we have wrote dollar row object with it column name. This way we have make data edit link when we have click on this link then page has been redirect to link in which base url function return the base url which we have defined in config.php page and then it go to main controller's update data function with one argument which is user id. In this function we will fetch user data of that in which we have passed into this update data function. So we have go to main controller page and on that page first we have define update data function. So for this we have write public function with name update data. This way we have define update data function into this main controller. In this function first we want to get user id which we have get from url and store into local variable of this function. So for this we have write dollar user id variable is equal to dollar this with a class object or a with segment function and in this function we have write 3. Here segment function get the data from third segment from base url which is user id and store into this variable. Then after we want to load main model into this function. So for this we have write dollar this with loading class object load with model function with one argument which is main model. This function will load main model into this function and we can access the method of this model into this function. Now we have go to main model page and on that page we have write one function fetch single data for fetching single user data. So for this we have write function fetch single data with one argument like dollar id. This way we have define function into main model. In this function we have write dollar this with database class object db with where method with two argument. In first argument we have write table column id and in second argument we have write dollar id which we have get from this function argument. Then after we have write query variable is equal to dollar this with database class object db with get method with one argument which is table name user table. This will run the selection query and return result which is stored into this query variable. Now we want to return the output of this fetch single data function. So for this we have write return statement with query variable, this will return the output of this function.
Then after we have go to main controller page and on this function we have go to update data function and in this function we want to call main models fetch single data. So for this we have write dollar data array with key name user data is equal to dollar this with main model name with fetch single data with one argument which is dollar user ID. This way we have called main models fetch single data function. Here this way we have called main model function and store output into this dollar data array with key user data. We want load this data in main view page, but on view page we have also display user data in table. So for this here we have again write dollar data array with key fetch data is equal to dollar this with main model with fetch data function. This function we have already created in previous video for fetch user data from table and display that data in HTML format. Now we want to pass this to array of data to main view page. So for this we have write dollar this with loading class object load with view function with two argument. In first argument we have write which view folder file you want to load. Here we want to load main view.php. So we have write main view and in second argument we have write which data you want to pass to this main view page here we want to pass dollar data variable data pass to this page. So friends, this way we have passed data to view page. Now we have moved to main view.php page. And on this page here we have write open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write of statement with condition and in condition we have writes a function with one argument which is dollar user data which we have received from main controller's update data function. If this view page load from main controller's update data function. Then it will execute if block of code and in this block of code we have to print filled HTML form with user data. So for this we have write for each loop with user data variable with result function as dollar user row variable. This result methods returns the query result as an array of objects and by for each loop but we can access each object with help of this dollar user row variable. Now we have first we have copy this HTML form and pass between this for each loop and in first name text box we have it on attribute value is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with user row variable with first name table column. Then after we want to print last name into last name text box. So in last name text box we have add one more attribute value is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this we have write echo statement with user role object with last name table column name. This will print last name under this last name text box. After this we have add one more HTML tag. So we have write input type is equal to hidden and with name is equal to hidden it and value attribute is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with user role object with it table column name. In this we have store user it into this hidden field. We will use this tag value for update form data. Lastly we have changed the submit button from insert to update and value is also changed from insert to update. So when this block of code will execute then button name will be changed from insert to update and by clicking on this button user can update form data. Suppose this main view page has been load by main controller's index function. So we want to display blank HTML form. So for this we have add else condition and in this else we have add blank HTML form. So when this main view page load by index function, then it will execute else block of code. Now we have check output in browser. Friends you can see that there is one more column is added into table with update link. So when we have click on any edit link then that particular user data has been appear on the HTML form and button name is also changed from insert to update. When we have click on this button then request has been sent to main controller's form validation function which we have already created in previous video tutorial.
So on this function we have to put condition like when this function received request from insert submit button then it would insert data into database. But suppose this function has received request from update button then this function would update the form data. So for this we have go to main controller's form validation function and in this function we have already put code igniter form validation and we have also load main model into this function and we have already store HTML form data into this data variable in associative array format. So after this we have write if statement with condition and in this condition we have write dollar this with input class object input with post method with one argument which is update. Here update is the submit button name. So when we have click on submit button with name update then this block of code will execute and it will update form data. So in this block we have write dollar this with main model name with update data function with two argument. In first argument we have write which data you want to update an array format store into this dollar data variable and in second argument we have write user id which we get from dollar this with input class object input with post method in which we have write hidden it in which we have store user id into this hidden field. After update of data page must be redirect to that HTML form page. So for this we have write redirect function with one argument and in this we have URL to which page must to be redirect. Here we want to redirect base URL function with main controller slash updated controller function. Page will redirect to this URL. Suppose form validation function received request for insert button. So for this we have write if statement with condition like dollar this with input class object input with post method with one argument in which we have write insert. Here insert is the name submit button for insert data. This condition will check if it received request from insert button then it will execute this if block of code. And in this block of code we have write code for insert data code which we have already write in previous video. So we have paste that code here. So when this function received request from insert button then this block of code will execute. After update of data page will be redirect to updated function of main controller. So in this main controller we have define updated function. So for this we have write public function updated and in this function we want to load HTML form which we have already load into index function. So for this we have called index function into this function. So we have write dollar this with index function. This function will be called in this updated function and load HTML form into this function. Now we have go to main model and in this model we have define update data function with two argument like dollar data and dollar it variable. In first argument you can store which data you want to update an array format and in second argument you can pass user ID. In this function first we have write dollar this with database class object db with where function with two argument. In first argument you can write table column field and in second argument you can get from this update data function second argument. After this we have write dollar this with database class object db with update function with two argument. In first argument we can write table name like user table and in second argument we can pass which data you want to update you can pass here. We can write dollar data argument of this update data function. This will produce this type of query and run this query and update the particular user data. Now our code is ready for update table data. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that when we have click on any edit link, then page has been redirect to main controller slash update data function slash it of user and data of that user in we can show an HTML form and button name also changed from insert to update, 
So when we have changed the form data and click on update button then request has been sent to form validation function and in that function we have already put some validation and if it passed that validation we have again put condition for check it received request from which submit button here we have send request from update button then in that function it will execute update data code and data will be updated and redirect to this main controller slash updated function and in this function we have load HTML form. So this way we can update the data and code ignite our application. So if you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.